Hey there, everyone. So I have another book that I have printed and glued and put on some construction paper to make it a little thicker. And I have laminated. You don't have to do that. Uh, you could also do clear contact paper. This book has a lot of T words in it. Tales. It's going to look at some different tales of some different animals. So this is a great way to have an interactive book with your child. It takes some prep work on the part of mom or dad or whoever is helping to take care of our student. They need to look at the book first and type up the sentences. And then depending on your child's level, that's how big or small you're going to make the pieces of the sentences. If you have a brand new reader, you might um, not cut them apart. So you could have the whole sentence just for matching. You can match up under. Okay, so if I look at this, what has a has a tail? Oh, see for a, a child that's a little bit more advanced, they might see, up. Oh, there's too many in here. So I don't need this one. We can just do what has a tail? What has a tail? We can talk about the, that curvy thing. What is that called? That's a question mark. They're asking a question. So what has a tail? A tiger has a tail. So you might give them two choices. Which one of these T words matches this one? T-I-G-E-R. Here it is. Oh, and this is that different G, which is very important for the kids to learn. This one is that different A. I call them the reading G and the reading A because we see them in a lot of books. So we match this one. A tiger has a tail. What has a tail? So we can match this one up again. And let's see, so does this one look like this one? No. So you could give them two different choices. And we've got T-O-U-C-A-N, toucan. This is great vocabulary. Um, lots of kids might just say the word bird, but we wanna know what kind of bird. This one is a toucan has a tail. What has a tail? Match that up. So let's see, a turtle has a tail. Does this word go with this one? T-U-R-T-L-E. T, up. -E. Oh, there's not, not a U next. So we've got this one. So again, let's see if your reader is gonna notice a turtle has, has a tail. Oh, that one's got two of the word has. So I don't need this one. I have some other choices down here. I just need this one because we want to match up those words. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's better. A turtle has a tail. And you can help your child with it. That is a period at the end. And then the last page just says tails, tails, tails. So I don't need this one. And there were three animals in the stories. So tails, 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 and that matches up. Tails, tails, tails. And we're gonna come over here and tails, tails, tails. And we wanna make sure that we're helping the kids with what is this thing at the end with that long line and the dot. That one is an exclamation mark. So you can let them know that that means you're shouting or excited. Either one is a good answer for that. So I hope you had fun. This is another great way to get it a little more interactive with your child instead of just reading. So pick a short book like these. These are nice and short and simple. Um, so it's not too much work for whoever is making all of that for the kids and have some fun with it. Have a great day. Thanks for reading. Tails. Bye.